then you have to. Next one, 25x to the 7th. Now this one's a little harder, so let's break it up. I like to break up the variables. Now this is easy. What is that? What's the square root of 25? Just 5. Now when it's even, it's when it's odd, what do we do? We need to make it even. x to the 6th times x. x to the 6th, radical x. What do you, what's the rule? Divide by 2. That x is just chilling, and then bring the 5 down. That's the answer. I know that one's a little weird. Okay, we got two left. Meat and potatoes. 8. 40, x7, and 18, x8. All right, so this is the key. This is like what I want you to be able to do. Take what we've just learned and mush it together. So the first thing I like to do when I have numbers and letters, break them up. I just think it, it creates less mistakes. What multiplies to 40? 1 times 40, 2 times 20, 4 times 10, 5 times 8. What's the perfect square? 1 and 4. So I'm going to write 40 as 4 times 10, radical 4, radical 10, 2, radical 10, right? Now I'm going to do x to the 7th. What do you do when it's odd? Make it even times x. x6, radical x. What's the rule? Divide by 2. Now I'm going to smush them back together. Yes, that's a real math word, smush. Put the outsides together. Put the insides together. And you're done. Okay. Pause the video and try number 9 on your own. We're multiplying to 18. 1 times 18, 2 times 9, 3 times 6. <coughs> 9 and 1. So I'm going to use the 2 and 9 because it's bigger. Radical 18 is 2 times 9. Radical 2, radical 9. Do we know the square root of 2? No. Do we know the square root of 9? 3. Move the 3 to the front. And then radical x to the 8th. It's the square root of x to the eighth. Just divide by two. When it's even, just divide by two. And then I gotta smush these together. So you get three x to the fourth radical two. This takes a little okay, you couldn't see what I wrote, could you? Just kidding. Alright, so I know these are a little tricky, but I've confidence you can do it. Take your time.